That was a good so, intro to our yeah, lives. Really good, man. And I got to get my uh, phone. I think you're wearing my T-shirt today, bro. I am really. I, it's not your T-shirt. I don't think no, it's hung up in my spot. Good morning, everybody. We're coming to you live from inside the main build facility here at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. I'm Tom, and we all know the master Bubba. Good morning, Bubba. How you doing today? I'm doing really good. This guy's definitely wearing my shirt for sure. Look at the size of the shirt on this guy. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? I can't even read a shirt tag. Nope. How about that, right? Bubba? At least you didn't rip it putting it on, though. That's exactly, typically more man. common of you. That's exactly right. Hey, Bub, we're gonna, we got a lot to cover today, man. So we're going to jump right into this thing. Man, this episode, of thank you, Bub. This episode is brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. Bubba's Exotic Motorsports.com, where you can see all this great stuff going on and behind the scenes stuff. Miss Outlaw Boutique, MS Outlaw Boutique.com at 561 660 6695. Ladies, you don't know what you're missing unless you've been there. It's an amazing place. Oh, Bub, yeah. Tony Rienzi.com, man. Exotic Car Guru and salesman to the stars he'll be here today man insane rides dude i'm telling you the it's more crazy, i look man. the more i drool oh uh -huh. literally it's, it's like if you could just take each car as you're scrolling through the site and click add to cart <laughs> yeah, add to, add cart. to cart add to cart and then the and then the 18 wheeler shows up just like i did many years ago on ebay and i bought like 15 cadillacs ladies and gentlemen it's a true story and i'll have to share that with you bub was not happy when two car carriers showed up with 15 cadillacs and a two hundred thousand dollar bill we'll talk about that later we'll talk about it later and monkey in paradise bub what's your paradise my paradise is here right now what we're doing bm full tilt wide open throttle insane stuff is rolling out of here we've got one of the major league players trucks is literally getting ready to roll out we'll talk about those parts here in a few minutes from rigid thanks that to our uh, sponsor rigid Industries. is insane dude i'm telling you the rigid. height the width the design of it it's, there are two color tones on that thing it's matte black and it is gloss black those are your only two colors if there's another color on that truck it had to get shot if you're going to see that truck featured here tomorrow they're worried it does belong to a major league baseball player in arizona who uh, plays for the diamondbacks it's so and big we have no idea we how we're getting it to arizona exactly. that's how big this truck is we were working that problem through the night and bub monkey in paradise remind you even though they are a two gold winner two gold medal winning vodka brewed right here in west palm beach they remind you to drink responsibly please drink responsibly responsible. ladies and gentlemen because the monkey will take you out quick the monkey will come get you quick and we'll find out thursday night at jumby bay we invite no. you all out to uh, join us here no 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 i'm not partaking in any more monkey events no 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 no, no. dude that monkey is hardcore man i'm telling you the problem is it's so smooth man i never have trouble let me tell you i'm 227 pounds right pretty solid for my height, a little stumpy bastard here, five six, not, maybe five seven. Five nine. Let me tell you, maybe not five nine. Good pair of Nikes, five nine. Uh, let me tell you, when you drink things like I don't know, we can go pretty hard with some pretty heavy shots. We can go pretty oh. hard with pretty heavy mixed drinks. Irish. That's what the tattoo says. Irish um, blood, American heart. I don't know what it is, dude. When you have one MIP cocktail, see ya. <laughs> Thirty minutes later, you are literally face on the floor How about no that? idea what's going on love it it's ugly love it we do it all the time just give me a home that's all i need that's it monkey in paradise reminds you to please drink responsibly bub we've been watching as you've been finished uh finalizing this thunder uh mountain chopper which yep. is the only officially recognized chopper by harley davidson mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. are your good friend rick petco and billy lane the mm -hmm. famous chopper builders from orange county choppers and billy lane from uh he had the discovery series out there yep. he's now working monster with monster garage biker monster build off choppers inc your good friends are as loving good as it gets oh they're loving what you're doing here on instagram bub you took this chopper and it had been wrecked mm -hmm. so you brought it in and you for a client mm -hmm. and you went through the chopper itself yeah you changed the paint from what was kind of what color was it uh, it was like a, I don't know, man. It was five different colors. There was, it was, there was tribal graphics on this thing. Um, there were marble inlays in the actual inset of the tribal graphic. There was candy orange on this thing. There was candy red. There were literally five or six different colors on this paint scheme, and it did not flow with the bike. It looked like, now, don't get me wrong, the graphics that were done, whoever did them, they were top-notch graphics. They were done as good as it can possibly get but they did not fit the theme of the bike. And there's a big problem with that when you have a guy who, our client that owns the bike, is a dealer. So he buys these things and he flips it. That's what he does, there's nothing wrong with that. That's his job, that's how he makes his money. He buys the bikes from wholesale, cleans them up, does full maintenance on, on these things, gets them ready to go. He's like Tony Rienzi, he buys very collector edition pieces. They're very rare, they're not just basic $2,000, $3,000 busted bikes. So he bought this thing, it did not look themed. It looked like someone took off the rear fender, the gas tank, and the front fender, 
and painted them very extreme for bikes that would look like Eddie Trotta. You know, yep. very extreme, very high and very flashy, easily seventy to one hundred thousand dollar bikes. That's the kind of paint scheme that was on this thing. Well, unfortunately, someone dropped the bike in the driver's side of, or not driver's side, but the left side left of the side. gas tank had a huge dent in it, as well as the front fender. So at that point, you're looking at you've got to take that thing all the way down to nothing, pull the metal back out where the dent was in the tank. Do you go through and do four and five and six stages of paint and custom graphicing again? You're not going to be able to blend those graphics that were on here. You'd have to start fresh and redo the entire section. Big steps, big processes, and the client didn't want to get into that because it's a very labor intensive time. No matter how good you are, it takes time to do that piece when you're doing five and six and seven coats of paint. So we came up with something that not only fits the theme of the bike better in terms of the candy red that we use as a base coat, but also more of a traditional style that's not so hard of a sale. That tribal graphicking, the marbling, that's a very select client. It is. So you would have to have someone out there who's looking for that exact paint job. Me, personally, I was very happy with what you see here, just the candy red paint. That's, that's 14 coats of paint, ladies and gentlemen, between the primer and the clear coat. There are silvers in this paint, mm -hmm. uh, there are silver base coat, there yeah, is gold base coat, coat, gold base coat, uh, and then crimson candy, crimson candy, clear. clear. So when you're, personally, I like this look. This look, the way I designed that look was to be the exact same base coloring, so shadowing, of the frame of the chassis, the chopper. It is, I would consider, maybe a flame red. More, it's darker than the painless part, for example. Darker than the painless part. Um, but it's not, there's no metallic flake in the frame of this, of this motorcycle. The frame, it's a soft tail, so the rear swing arm. There's no metallic flake, there's no pearls, there's no marbling, there's nothing. It's just a base coat, clear coat, frame, and that's it. It's more of a flame red, darker tone to that, maybe a touch sharp, darker than flame red. Um, so I wanted to go with a very clean paint that matched that. So we use PPG's Radiance Crimson Red. It's a very deep color. This thing, depending on how the sun's hitting it, it will look the exact color tone as the frame. So it'll look like that flame red. Or as you walk around the thing and get in shadows, you get a very deep lollipop look to it where it looks like you can literally look into the paint. One of the things you like to do is work with shadowing on your mm -hmm. paints, bub, mm -hmm. from your Iridium Silvers on Mercedes to your PPG yep. uh, line of paints. And you personally, as one of the best in the business today, will only shoot PPG paints. Yeah, that's it. You won't touch anything yeah. else. I mean, everything, all the way from like our high-end builds to, you know, using like the Concept Clears to PPG's Vibrance, Radiance Series, the any of those line, series, yeah. all the way down to like the Deltron shop line, even Omni on some crap jobs, you know. It, there's a little bit of paint out there for everything. It's all about your budget and what you're trying to build, what you're trying yep. to produce. Yep. It is. Yep. Get it. So, Bob, one of the things that you decided to do or what the owner really wanted to do is stay a little more traditional to the bike itself, even though you wanted to keep it very classy mm -hmm. and un unencumbersome to your eyes. Mm -hmm. You guys decided yesterday to lay down the flames. You immediately went to work. Let's talk a little bit about that process. Here, for example, Bob, is the gas tank. As we can see, ladies and gentlemen, this gas tank does not does no longer retain the vibrancy of, say, the rear fender. Mm -hmm. The rear fender is still in its virgin stages because Bub literally wet sanded and buffed this, mm -hmm. or just Not wet buffed, sanded just wet this, sanded. just wet sanded this using wet grit. So essentially the way that we do it, and everybody does them a little differently, um, but what we did is after the clear was dry, so what you're looking at here, this is PPG's Radiant Series Crimson Red painted all the way through, completely finished. If we were to wet sand and buff this, you could put it on the bike and the bike could go. It's finished, to, essentially. What we're doing is to add the flames, we scuff this all down with a wet 1000, block it all in, get rid of any little nibs or imperfections that are in the clear coat. Any little dirt, dust, any imperfections you see, we're not gonna let that stay. So you block through all of that, you get a very nice smooth surface, and then you can move into your next step, which would be, in this case, using 3M's quarter inch trim line or eighth inch trim line, you can outline the flames in any sort of fashion, make any kind of curve you, you could possibly imagine. Literally, if you wanna make an immediate 180, you can do it with 3M's, both eighth inch and quarter inch tape. This is literally the best stuff for doing graphics, pinstriping, swirls, curves, marble, any enhancement you're doing to paint jobs, that's the paint to use. Not your traditional just masking tape, which you would use to mask up your surface areas. That's what you do to lay out graphics, custom lines, striping, anything you can imagine. So what Bub does, ladies and gentlemen, is he literally scuffs the surface of the paint, then just using his eye, or first he takes a measuring tape, measures the exact center of whatever piece it is he is getting ready to lay his flames on. He does not pencil them out, he does it by eye. So he literally 
looks at it by eye and decides I'm going to have four flames all together on this one particular piece. So that no matter how you graduate around the, the, the piece that he's painted, it, the symmetry is there, the flow is there, it's consistent on both sides. It's very, very precise in the way you do it. There's a few extra steps to do it this way, but he does it. So he's using two different uh, tape sizes and he's using a razor blade, a razor blade to cut his, uh, to cut his tape with. So Bob, why don't you show that? So essentially what, what he's saying is I draw a center line and run it with the tape as you can see the center line running dead center up the fender so that when I'm done with these flames I can literally mark it whatever measurement I want to. I can mark where I want you know all the flames to swerve in, swerve out at each contact point at three inches, at five inches, seven inches, nine, whatever that number is. I can mask it, I can mark it, I can set it there and then I can make sure that as I'm literally hand laying these and using my eye I can roll them down and each curve hits that exact same mark on both sides and it's nothing more than perfect symmetry left and right, which you can see now that you take this fender and it's done and it's dead on left and right. Good morning to Joe Kramer out there. So ladies and gentlemen, while this looks like a yellow piece of tape, what happens is it actually comes to life when you hold it up. You can see it. Another example of that is on the gas tank itself right here. From the side, it looks really nice. However, that thing's heavy, dude. Don't drop As you pick it up, the flames now come to life. Notice the symmetry running down both sides of this tank. It is perfect on both sides. Coming down here and coming down in the front, it's perfect as well. Now, Bob, once this is, once you've finished this, mm -hmm. what happens now that it's taped? So now these two components, the gas tank and the front fender, both of them are ready to go into what would be the flame color. So the flame color that I've chosen to do on this is very traditional. The client doesn't, again, we don't want to over theme this bike. We just want to keep it clean, but he just didn't want a basic candy paint. Personally, I would have stayed there and I'd have cleaned the bike up, ridden it just like that. A lot of big companies out there did very clean paint jobs. They didn't do logos. They just, American Iron Horse, for example, if you look at any of the Texas choppers, they were clean. Now they had custom paint jobs, but they were very clean. They used a lot of PPG paints on them. They had purples, they had blues, they had oranges, all that looked just beautiful the way the shadowing of the sun hit them. And that was all you needed to do on those bikes. This one, the client wanted to do just a step up. He wanted very traditional flames. He loves that style. So we're doing a traditional flame. We're doing PPG's Vibrant's gloss black, straight plain. It's gloss black, very deep, very rich looking. And then what we are gonna do once the gloss black is laid, then I'm gonna untape all of this and then pinstripe around and every pinstripe. corner between the, where the black is gonna be, everything you see is gonna be black. Then once we untape it, you'll see the candy red again. And then between the two of them, I'm actually gonna run the exact same color pinstriping as the frame of the bike. So remember, it's a shade darker. Consistency, ladies and gentlemen, it's a shade, consistency. Shade darker than the candy, but it is a plain paint. There's no metallic flakes. So what I'm gonna do is bring that, outline all of these, and then it's gonna look like these tens were built for that bike. So that's, and you were in a design meeting with myself and the uh, owner of this chopper yesterday, Bob, mm -hmm. and you had several designs already pulled up so you knew exactly where you were going with this and how to get it across the finish line so that it was, I mean, it was a themed bike, much more so than when it was originally built back it just in didn't 2001, match. 2004, something uh, like that. I don't know what this is. I think it's an eight. 2000, okay, Maybe. so that just, that, it kind of gives you an idea. Mm -hmm. So it's slow and steady, and we'll be bringing you, ladies and gentlemen, the completed project. So now that he's hand laid all, and it's an art to lay these things by hand. He doesn't draw them out, he sits right here, and for two days has laid these out by hand. Is there faster ways? Yes. Is there mass production ways? Yes. But the quality of what you get from a symmetrical standpoint with somebody's eye like Bubba's, you can't beat when you slow it down and take it easy. That's, that's the way to do that's it. That's key too, man. It's, uh, you know, it's, I would literally had one of our buddies here this morning watching me do this and he was literally watching as I went from every angle of this tank from the left side to picture this you're sitting on the bike there's gonna be a chrome center console that runs all the way down with the speedometer the ignition switch all the mounts in the dead center very much like Harley Davidson soft tail series did in the fat boy lines all that so he's watching me and I'm walking around every side of it not only to see that you know the sizing of the width of the flame is all the same all the way across where it goes around this is your fuel sending unit where it goes around the fuel tank, the actual cap, where the lines come back, but also picture yourself sitting on the bike 
99.9% .9 of the time you're going to be sitting in this freaking seat when you're riding the thing. Hopefully you're not on the ground next to it, unlike you. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I wind up on the ground a lot, ladies and gentlemen. When you're sitting here, you're going to be looking, you know, when you're at, at a stoplight, you naturally you look down, you're going to be looking at your paint. Man, if it's a beautiful paint, you're going to be looking at it. You're not going to want to look down and see one flame is a quarter inch longer than the other. Little things like that will drive you freaking nuts, man. Again, this is all done by eye. That's what a professional Bubba is. Bubba not only does his paint and body work, even though he has a full complement of people that we work with here uh, as our family members, uh, Bub is physically on top of everything as am I, but he touches every piece of the business. Speaking of which, Bub, I have new body work coming in for you. Uh, the Bub edition, uh, the Bub's Exotic Motorsports uh, Sil uh, Silverado, the dually, our brand new dually, was in an accident last night, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. It's going to need a quarter panel on the left rear side. Yeah, that's not the quarter panel, dude. That's the whole bed. Yeah, that's the bed. It's an eight-foot bed. That's correct. Yeah, it's not just a, it's not just a panel. I understand the gentleman who did it used a hammer to get some of the dents out, and yeah. he says it now looks like a pineapple. Hey, better, better luck to him, dude. You he tried what? to help us out. He just popped the dent out. He may have gone a little too far out the other way. That's okay. We'll go back in again. We'll go back in again. If we got it in the first place, we're gonna go in again. Hey, Bub, we're gonna close this segment out. We're gonna jump over here with dude. our uh, sponsor, Rigid Industries, man. We've been working on this baseball player's truck for a series of about nine months now. It's been a yep. huge build. We disassembled the whole truck. There's not another one like it. All the way down to nothing. Like to nothing. Down yep. to frame. Yep. That and is the way you do it. That's the way you do it. Um, Rigid once again came in. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't know who Rigid Industry is, you don't know LED lighting. No. You don't. It's impossible. Not the Amazon.com stuff. Not the Chinese made stuff. Not the stuff you go get at your local parts store. Right. Rigid. Rigid. Made in the USA. Strong. Oof. Durable. Fully functional, direct fit. You ready for that one? Keyword, direct, direct fit. fit. You can literally pick up the phone, go on their website and buy every piece, especially in the truck world. You can buy anything you can imagine. And I'm talking like factory fog light brackets for the F250 and 350 series trucks. You can buy roof bar brackets. Everything is CNC cut, powder coated in whatever color you would like, custom match color to your vehicle. And these things come in straight from rigid direct fit you take them out it's freaking retard proof you've got to be pretty dumb to screw it up when it's this perfect it even comes bub with the rivets and everything you need to drop these brackets into place okay. you said a key word there with you holding them is drop them that's it drop it that's right so uh this bub we're going to talk a little bit about this for a second here rigid industries is the leader in led technologies man they are the best of the best it was the only thing holding us up on delivery of this vehicle but once again Rigid came through at the 11th hour and got these parts. Max was literally in Texas at a show. Yeah. They were these parts were on back order for. This a was something of time. like it was like a scary movie, dude. Right. Trying to get this. Tell everybody about it. I'm telling you. So this is. I literally read our foreman Greg. I read him one of the texts from Max from Rigid, and it was like a scary movie, dude. It's something along the lines of, in the middle of Texas. Have no cell service. Tornadoes coming Thunder down around me. Tornado coming. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? All I'm trying to do is get an RDS 54 here. Yep, yep. And it was a very bizarre situation because they were supposed to go out previously. Yep. Um, but Max bumping and grounded out. He got off the airplane from Texas. I was on the phone with him for two hours yesterday afternoon, finalizing this thing. He personally boxed this stuff up, got it out to us, and it got here this morning via Federal Express. That's what a good sponsor does, ladies and gentlemen. That's it, man. And this is direct fit stuff. What we're seeing here, Bub, you're going to be incorporating several new items on this truck. The well, brand new grill. Not only that, too, plus everything that you are looking at, guys, these are the Midnight Series Edition. So all of these are very new. These are recent products. Some of these you can't even get your hands on yet because they are completely blacked out. Rigid's known for their standard LED lighting. All of them are like a chrome housing, chrome backlight. Even though the framing of them is black, the actual inlet where the lighting themselves is is all in black now as well so if you guys have ah, those, good observation if i didn't you know guys that, have those murdered out vehicles that's what this stuff is for and on this truck as i mentioned there are two color tones it's either matte black or it's gloss black that's it there are two color tones that's why everything on this truck had to be done in a midnight series these pieces, I don't know if there's any more of these parts in the country right now. It That's how tight these things were to get in here. They, they are. It was on back order, and it's thrown us a little bit behind on the delivery of the truck. Now the other problem that we have, ladies and gentlemen, is this particular ball player is having a rollback sent from uh, Arizona, yes. Arizona to here to pick the truck up. It picks up tomorrow between 3 and 4 in the afternoon. So I got a lot of work. The problem that we have is the truck that Bub has built is now too wide for the bed of the 
Roll back. Hey man, it's like transporting a monster truck, dude. It is. You just drive down the road. It is. And it's gonna be fun, so you're gonna no, stay tuned you don't, and watch you don't, that. you don't drive those down the road, no. do you? This you can. This you can. No, no, but a monster truck. A monster truck, yeah. Technically. Technically. You don't drive those down the road. Can you drive can you can you can you drive Producer this down does. the road with Monkey in Paradise? Uh can you? Yes. Should you? No. Only if you're responsible. At <laughs> your own risk, I suppose. That's exactly right. Take the ticket. Only if you're responsible, ladies and gentlemen. So here we have the series of uh, uh, rigid lights coupled up with Bub Painless Performance, your yep. other uh, sports. Of so of now, here we are in the 11th hour crunch again, which is what happens on every project. Okay? Always. That guy's on the road here now from Arizona, Bob. Hey, okay. That's it. Come on. If we have to work around the clock, that's what we'll do to get him done. I'm and doing him it. Taken care of. And now you pair it up with Painless Performance, Dennis Overholzer out there, uh, and his beautiful wife Jan in Texas. Make sure that you've got everything you need on the purpose built painless carts, and you put this thing together. Boom. Painless is auto electric done Bubba style. That's it, man. It's just going to be that simple, dude. It's between purchasing components from Rigid that are direct fit, they're pre-built for this truck, even all the way down to like the two by two cube lights that we're gonna run in the front bumpers and in the rear bumper, all of those are pre-built ready to mate up to Fab Four's bumpers. So again, I mentioned you can buy these things ready to go for F-150s, 250s, 350s, excursions, Dodge Rams, Silverados, you can buy bracketry from Rigid to bolt in these lights in any sort of stock application system. But then, if you do have an aftermarket bumper, for example, we put Fab 4's Vengeance Series on this truck, pre-runner style in the front, the uh, backup monitor style in the rear, we have direct fit brackets now from Rigid to go right into those bumpers with no problems at all. So this is literally going to be a simplified and very easy installation. As long as you've got the basic set of hand tools and you've got some skill. That's right. And then you line the lights up when you're done. I'm not going to be like most dick bags out there. Let's just say it as it is with the freaking lights pointing. Like this and, going yeah, down. and the problem is too with Rigid Industries, when you did the uh, Chicago Bear uh, tight end uh, Willie Young's truck, you built yep, all his yep, stuff yep. as well. You have to literally set that truck outside oh, on you that do. roof bar yeah. because it will, it literally, that Rigid Almost one mile 50 of visibility, inch, dude. You know how long one, one mile, mile is? is really late. To see with one light? One light. That's a long free. Hey, and they and are this bright. This has got dude. two out front. One, two, yeah. three, four out front. No, there's going to be five, six. One, two, three, four. Six rigid lights in the front of that six truck. Six rigid lights in the front. Mm -hmm. Big. It's gonna oh, yeah, no. Brian's going to have no problem lighting up the entire desert. And then I think you're doing his F-150. Another F-150. Another one's but coming a classic, in though. A classic That's the one that's going to have to be like, fine. you got to go traditional, dude. Yeah. That style, so this is like mid-90s F-150. You've got to go old school traditional, like a candy paint. Chrome American Force wheels, huge lift on this thing, and just like a total classic, love that truck. Yep. Like play the freaking rock music out of it from the 80s and just ride. And just have a good time. That's it. So pay attention for that one coming, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be a lot of fun as well. Yeah. So we can't thank Dennis enough for making sure this is hooked up electrically. We can't thank Max enough for getting those lights in here, you know, getting off an airplane full out of tornadoes, you know, with dust bunnies hanging Seriously. off of him and stuff like that. Like this, that's how these got here was like the tornado grabbing them. That's <laughs> And shot them right out. That was it. That's exactly what it is, Bob. So, we're, and we'll bring you everybody uh, the installation of this. We will feature this truck tomorrow, and I'll put it up on social media that we'll be talking about this truck as well. Bob. Yep. So I got a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work to do, man. It's not easy, Bob, living in our shoes. Is no, 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 not at all. So, I got to have this painted and that truck done today because I don't like to be completely back against the wall. I like to make sure I have time for quality controls, final detailing. This is a truck that we've been building for this client for up to nine months now. Yep. It is a huge job, huge build. We took this thing all the way down to bare metal, did a full production like Ford would have done coming down the assembly line, doors off, hood off, fenders off, bed off, trunk off, out. every piece every of piece this thing was, was off, no trunk tailgate. Mm -hmm. Every piece was off, every piece was coated or refinished in some sort of fashion yep. away, every nut and bolt. This thing is insane, dude, and I think when he gets it, he hasn't seen it in person yet. He's going to love this thing. By it's the like pre-runner desert style, kind of looks like a rally truck, sort of like a Raptor, but really aggressive, like a desert military grade. Everybody who sees it loves it. And, oh, yeah. And, and the texture finish, dude, like don't rub your elbow against this thing. You're going to cut yourself. It's almost it's that like texture a lizard. Almost like a lizard skin. I don't know if it's like a lizard skin. You know, the big, I feel like that's a really bad one right there. It's kind of like a piece of sandpaper. Kind of like a big, like big, big sandpaper. Right? Yeah, well, it's a really big sandpaper. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited to announce also that we have been commissioned by Max to build the Rigid Industries Jeep. Rigid Industries Jeep. Next week. So get week, ready, South Florida. 
Ridge is going to come in hot with hot. a freaking Jeep JK. So everybody that watches us, there's a lot of people in the West Palm area, South Beach area, it's South, a lot of Jeeps South here, Florida dude. area that watch us, Bob. This show's very yep. popular out there around the world. And uh, the they have commissioned us as of yesterday to build the Bubba uh, Exotic Motorsports Rigid Industries uh, Jeep. It's the first time it's ever been done. Uh, the vehicle will be wrapped, it will be lit, it'll be it'll, the whole nine yards. Very exciting, Bob. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. <laughs> That's a big build. That's a big build. I feel like this thing needs to look like a total rock crawler, but be for the street. <laughs> That's pretty cool. With man. lighting everywhere. That's pretty cool, Bob. I'm, that's I'm it. Looking, you just ride. I'm just. I'm looking forward to run that. over everything. Who cares? I'm, I'm looking uh, forward to it. Uh, it's going to be an exciting build, Bob. I can't wait to get that underway. It's going to be really cool. Actually, in some ways, you do have it under the way. You uh, underway. You've already started the interior of it, and I it's have. a very Bentley-esque interior. That's in right. The Jeep. Just because it's aggressive doesn't mean it can't be classy and high end. There you go, man. That's it. Super. That's same way with this F-150, man. Stuff. It's it's as bad as it gets on the outside. You open that door, and it's full luxury. It's full. You get in, you've got nav, you have heated and cooled seats, air conditioning, power steering, power brakes, power windows, sunroof, every kind of, literally every feature you dual can exhaust. Imagine. Dual exhaust, super smooth, really nice, gives a nice rumble to it, yeah. not obnoxious. Everything about it is perfect, I'm telling it's, you. It's amazing. So ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned tomorrow. Bob, we're going to jump out of here. Uh, it's been I a great a segment. You've got a lot of segment to do. This segment's probably been brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports.com. Miss Outlaw Boutique, Bob. Yep. Miss Al Killing it, dude. dude. Killing it over there. 561-660-6695. Monkey in Paradise, Bub. We'd like to know what's your paradise. I'm, I've already said it like a hundred times. Say it again. So my paradise is what's happening right now, BEM, Jupiter, Florida. The rides that are rolling out of here this week are insane. We literally finished a race car this morning. Just sent the thing out. Had to put it down on the trailer. You strapped it in, so I don't think it's it going to be on the trailer probably didn't make it home long. safely. No, it's in the middle of 95 yeah. somewhere. It needs more body work, ladies and gentlemen. For sure. Miss Outlaw Boutique, Monkey in Paradise, reminds you to please drink responsibly, yep. bub. What happened to me? No idea. TonyRienzi.com. That's TonyRienzi.com. Thank you to our lifelong, lifelong electrical sponsor, Mr. Dennis Overholzer and his beautiful wife, Jan, at PainlessPerformance.com. Yep. Painless is auto electric done Bubba style. It has been for many, many years, Bub, and it will continue to be. You can hear Dennis live uh, doing tech tips with us, electrical tech tips uh, weekly on our podcast, which airs on our Facebook page every Saturday morning from 9 to 10 a.m., Bub. That's right. it. Rigid Industries, Rigid is lighting done Bubba style. Let's go and jump out of here, Bub, till tomorrow. Just keep on doing it Bubba style. Ladies and gentlemen, please step out today to touch somebody's life in a very positive way. Some very unpleasant things happened by the hands of some very unpleasant people last night in the UK. Please keep those young, innocent families in your hearts, your thoughts, and your prayers today. And know how blessed we are to go about our day without living that way. Make sure you touch somebody's life in a very positive manner. Open the door for somebody who needs that door. Choose somebody who's got some holes in the bottom of their shoes and feed somebody who's hungry. Ladies and gentlemen, until tomorrow, keep on doing it Bubba style. All right, Bubba, what can I do to help you over here? I just got a wet sand. All right, you need some of this tape back over here? No, I don't need any of that tape.